Hi guys, Haley here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be sitting over here. Because we are playing a game, and you guys have probably heard of it because it's pretty popular in the YouTube world right now. It is called Episode. And I've played this game before, not in a pretty long time, but I have played it. So I kind of know what it's about. It's basically just a story game, and the choices you make affect how the story goes, I guess, kind of is the gist of it. So the story we're gonna be playing is called Crush on Mr. Bad Boy. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Before you go any further, you should know that this isn't a normal love story. Actually, if I'm being honest, it's the most messed up, disastrous love story ever told. Still reading? Yep. Okay, I warned you. <laughs> we're at a party. Back when I was still me, my name was... What's gonna be my name? What's gonna be? My name... Nelly. Okay, hello Axel. He's calling my name. Nelly! Run, run, run. Nelly, I know you're in there. And I know she's in there with you too. You girls can't hide from me forever. <laughs> you girls can't hide from me forever. This isn't a normal love story. This is the story of how I fell in love, transformed into the most famous girl in town, and turned my whole life upside down. Upside down. But I'm jumping way ahead. Okay, so here we are. Back then I looked like this. She's cute, right? This is the right look for you. Okay, let's start with skin tone. I like the pink. Like that can be like her signature color is her bubblegum pink lipstick. This is perfect. Nelly. Nice. Not that it mattered what I wore back then. At school, I was invisible. I was at the top of all of my classes, but to everyone who mattered, I didn't exist. The only person who even knew my name was my best friend, Jackson. Jackson was our resident actor extraordinaire. My partner in every class, and the one person who made me feel seen. Sometimes it's nice to have a great guy best friend. But as tolerable as Jackson made school, my former best friend, Lay bestie, Layla, made it miserable. Oh, Layla. Did she just spill my coffee on me? No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Layla. Watch where you're going, loser. <laughs> God, did you just pee yourself? That's so gross. Layla, shut up! Don't tell me you're gonna cry now. Stand up to Layla, walk away, break down, and tear up. I mean, let's just stand up because what else we got to lose? You know what, Layla? Maybe you should spend less time dumping coffee in people and more time learning how to read. Here's a tip. Books only make sense if you know what the letters mean. <gasps> oh, Nelly! Your clothes are screaming future cat lady so loud I couldn't hear you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's Axel! See you at the dance tonight? Oh, that eye roll, though. Have you ever experienced the signature blend of torture and delight from having a huge crush on someone who didn't know you exist? Because mine looks like this. Oh, we get to design him. Woo. Axel was the hottest guy in school. Town. And probably the whole world. Oh my gosh, this girl has a huge crush on this guy. Look at him just walk down. It didn't matter that every girl was in love with him. He couldn't care less. Look at that eye roll he keeps doing. Oh my gosh. No matter how hard I tried, I could ne I could never seem to catch Axel's eye until... Come on. Come on. Come out. Hey. <gasps> you know this is the men's bathroom, right? Om gee 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 are you lost or here for a rendezvous? Be honest. I kind of had a wardrobe malfunction at lunch and jumped in the first door I saw. Good, because if you were here for a hookup, I'd totally question your judgment. <laughs> Please. A quickie in the bathroom is as about as romantic as a date in a sewer. Oh my gosh. Oh, she made him laugh. Oh gee, did I just make Axel Spencer laugh? Oh my gosh. Um, maybe I should go. Interesting costume, by the way. Costume? For the Halloween dance tonight. I'm guessing you're a librarian or a kindergarten teacher? They aren't your real clothes, are they? We don't need to impress this guy. Let's just be totally honest with him, right? Right. Not that I owe 
you an explanation, but these are my real clothes. In fact, I made them myself. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <gasps> stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I roll. But if I was going to the dance, would I see you there? Not that it's any of your business, but I might swing by. Might be a good place to find an angel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is she gonna like dress up as an angel for the school dance? That, he keeps eye rolling. Well, if it isn't our fine officer of the law and the councilman Adams, what are we talking about this time? Vandalism, public intoxication? Oh, this guy's a bad boy. Huh. Sounds serious. Damn right it's serious. <laughs> Any idea how my 60, Nine Shelby Cobra wound up at the bottom of the lake last night. <laughs> well, you of all people know how bad crime in this town is bad. <laughs> that just, that evil glare. Watch yourself, Axel. <laughs> you stay on this route, you'll end up in prison instead of college. And we both know what that means. Your father was smart to leave you. Doesn't have to deal with a screw up for his son anymore. God, this guy's so mean. He's so sad. Wow, Axel's actually speechless. How can she see what's going on if she's still in the bathroom? You got a date with justice, Axel. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> well, tell her I'm busy tonight. Gonna be looking for a beautiful stranger at the dance. You know, I should be doing voices for these people, but like, I suck at voices. And that's when it happened. The craziest idea I ever had. I should have ignored it. But instead I... Jackson, I need you to use your theater skills to transform me into a beautiful stranger for the dance. <laughs> it's so hard to do voices, what the heck? What's wrong, Nelly? I'm just so tired of being me. I happen to like you just the way you are. <gasps> um, I mean, I like your chess club president, Scholastic Bull Champion, and our future valedictorian. Aw, someone has a crush. Fine, I'll do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But only if we still go to the Weekenders concert tomorrow night. Of course, we've been planning it for months. Absolutely not. No dances, no parties, no hanging out. And therefore, no selling your body for drugs. Does she look like the type who would do that? I don't know. This is my wicked stepmother, Cleo. She treats me like one of her psychiatry patients. Cleo, come on, please, my dad will let me. So like, Axel has a really evil stepdad and Nellie has a really evil stepmom. No dances, end of discussion. Manipulate her or make a deal. Now do we wanna like stay on good terms or do we wanna like show our bad side and try to get what we want? Let's manipulate her. Well, Principal Chase did say I was becoming too socially isolated, but that's probably a good thing, right? In your experience, as a psychiatrist. I guess a little social interaction couldn't hurt. Look at that smile, she's just like from here to here, ear to ear. But I'm picking you up at 10 p.m. sharp. If you're not outside, I'm coming in. <laughs> I wanted to transform into someone glamorous, not the last survivor of an apocalypse. <laughs> and she, she just changed like, literally like that. Start with a wig. Wow, you're really gonna go in for it. Next you're gonna say, I need contacts and lipstick too. And for costume, I was thinking like a beautiful dark angel. Of course she's dressing up as an angel. Okay, we're gonna transform our look. Cue the montage. Totally just doesn't even look like the same person. Like her face shape and everything. Like the whole game looks different. Oh my gosh. And he's just like. <sighs> what? Say something. He's like. He really likes her. Hey. Who's that? Who? That girl. Over there. She's just like. I'm so shy. I also have something on my arm. <laughs> this is it. Time to make my move. No, 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 I want to play more. <sighs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video episode. It just left us on a really big cliffhanger and I'm like, I really want to just play more. <sighs> 
but I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and would like to see a part two, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in next time. Bye-bye.